kitchen I tell them keep on talking Cause I love the attention And if they wanna see me I tell them they can go high High in the sky Cause this chick so fly morning it is saturday september 3rd and y'all i'm not gonna even lie youtube get on my nerves sometimes they ask you would you like me to improve the quality of your video because it seems a little shaky and i didn't see it but i hit the button anyway now i'm gonna go uh, undo because they just messed up my little whole intro so apologies to y'all that have watched it and the pictures look like they floating and just moving everywhere because that ain't how it was when it first went up so let me go fix this fish so well <sighs> it's the longest up always up no matter what all for working hi husband how are you so irritated right, right now. Uh, I am getting dressed uh, for the day. Uh, this shift, put it that way. And um, I'm actually sitting here with my camera on the tripod right now. Because I'm on my expensive camera. Yeah. Vlogging camera, like, totally disappointed me. Haven't even had it a good two months and something is malfunctioning on it already. Um, it's the Sony um, D something, but it has a flip screen and it's acting weird. Like you turn it on, it don't want to turn off. It keeps going on and off, blah, 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 blah. So I'm getting ready to send that back uh, to the manufacturer and florida on tuesday and hopefully they get me my device back in a timely manner i really wanted the sony eight five thousand i think i think that's what it is same camera that jasmine has that's the one i wanted yet because there was some type of something that happened in uh, Japan where it's made they was unable to ship or the plant has been uh, destroyed hold on y'all about that let me just zoom back in okay okay any hoots um y'all I have to make sure like it's focused on me and not my background so It'll do that to you. Y'all with these uh, professional photographer cameras, y'all know what I'm talking about. Because see, like right now, I'm looking blurry. So, here we go. I'm going to be back on my phone, but somebody tell me something. Is it me or is it Apple? It seems like every time Apple have a freaking update, it seems like they like take more and more of like your phone storage. Like, I only got a handful of uh, apps, apps on my phone. And for some reason, it just always keeps telling me my memory is about full. That was the whole reason why I wanted to start. Uh, I wanted to get me a camera that was like perfect for vlogging. And something small, because this Canon y'all gets heavy. So... Yes, y'all. I am like so surprised that with my schedule um, for the weekend, I'm surprised like they didn't like schedule me to work 
the whole freaking weekend. Um, um, working tonight, but I'm only working a five hour shift, so from three to eight. And then after that, I am going to, uh, I'm off tomorrow, which is a great thing, because we got a tropical storm, a severe tropical storm coming our way. And I gotta remind Mr. Long to take all that patio furniture in because I don't need my umbrella down the street, okay? So, with all that being said, y'all, um, I work tomorrow, no, I work today, I'm off tomorrow, I work Monday from 6 to close because I'm just doing windows and then they will not see me again until after the 16th of September. So, works out in my favor. So, by now, you guys have seen Jazz's uh, uh, internship vlog. And y'all remember last week when I said, you know, sometimes even members of your family can take you for granted. Well, she just let the cat out the bag and she let y'all know. Um, I was talking about her. But I also was talking about my husband too, y'all, because he did. James is not an interior decorator, okay? He need to stick to army, you know, soldier, uh, sergeant first class long. That's that's who he needs to stick to, because he's not an interior decorator. I just need to make sure y'all know that, okay? This brother, last week or last Sunday when. Monday when I went to work one of them days y'all he had a lot of time on his hands and y'all remember that refrigerator that he got for Father's Day well he decided to do some redecorating in our bedroom and y'all I was not happy with it because like as soon as you walk in the freaking door in our bedroom the sexy just like dies it dies because you see a white cubic box called a refrigerator sitting on a nightstand where a lamp a picture some candles is supposed to be sitting not a refrigerator you feel me so i was irritated with him because i just was like why are you like trying it and then so then he started uh attacking me on this this room right here all right he was like well your room is cluttered yeah i have the smallest room in the house smallest y'all even james man cave is bigger than this room okay uh and initially i was gonna take that room because it's in the basement but because as y'all can see i spent a lot of time in this room and i do my makeup in here and the whole nine lighting would not have been good for me down in the basement okay let's face it so me and him got into a debate before i went to work and i was straight irritated he was like the cherry on top of the sunday because he just was irking me <sighs> he even took it to facebook you know i was just talking about how my family was taking advantage you know well i didn't even say family y'all i just say people can take advantage of you and you can feel taken for granted and he come on there talking about you mad or no for your little five cent. So then, Jazz told y'all, clearly I was able to identify real quick that she, uh, she had an attitude. She wasn't sharing and, you know, she was, she was being Jazz. So, I was pissed. I ain't gonna even front. And I don't be hiding my emotions. I showed them, okay? Which is definitely a trait she has got for me too because she shows them. It's just that she shows them not in a very positive way, okay? Like I said, when I'm mad, I let it be known. You don't have to be trying to figure me out. You don't have to be trying to guess. It's, it's plain and simple. She mad. What? That's I Jada, y'all. I had a question. Oh. My cousin posted anything and my other cousin on Instagram. I don't know, Jada. I ain't been on that. My outlook? Not right now. Ask your daddy, can you look on his phone? He's sleep. Well, 
ask him when he wake up. I'm getting ready to go. I'm trying to get... Your face ain't even all the way done. But it's got to be in five point... Uh, y'all, in a few minutes. Oh, my freaking God. Don't y'all hate when you, make, you can't find stuff? Ugh. So, like... Like I was saying. You know, she was mad. We had a talk when she came home. Because her daddy called me before he got home and he just wanted to make sure he cleared the air with me before he got here. Smart, right? So, because I told y'all that day, I'd be wrong if I cook enough just for one person, right? I'd be dead ass wrong. Dead. You feel me? So, he got to me before he got home. He talked, he apologized for his move that refrigerator out of my my view my vision and I just told him if we need to buy another like small piece of furniture for him to sit in on because he wants it up high we can do that but that right there uh nobody ain't about no nightstand to be storing no dog on a uh, refrigerator on okay uh-uh so Jazz is like really stressed and you know, y'all we are helping her the best we can. However, I've never been that parent that wants my children to automatically think we got them. And that's why she goes through this process of brainstorming on how can she or what can she do. Now, of course, I never want my daughter to be out doing anything unethical or anything that can be, you know, degrading to her character or who she is. Okay, never. Yet, at the same time, remember I told y'all, as parents... I really do feel like a lot of the entitlement that children get does come from enabling and making them feel like they are entitled. So, you know, me and her father talked to her and we told her, you know, pretty much it's one thing to say, okay, you ain't got it, but we don't read minds. We, we're, we're not built like that. Me and him read each other. Because we got chemistry like that. Yet, I don't read minds. And when, it, when it's outside of my soulmate, my other half, I don't read minds. And I don't even try to attempt to do it, okay? Because it can give you a damn headache. Let's just face it, okay? And most people who assume shit, y'all already know the answer to that, make themselves asses. So... She apologized when she came home to me that day and I was cooking y'all. And you know, I'm one of them people don't say I'm sorry. Apologize to me. Why are you apologizing? What did you do that you know you did that had me feeling some kind of way? And so, yeah, y'all probably like stuff. You really had to make her break it down. Yep, I did. Because you know what? I'm a firm believer in using your words when communicating. Use them and i made her use them and once she used them you know me and her father were able to tell her look you know you can't be all the time thinking that you know you know what we're gonna say or you're saying no for us without even asking like you, you don't know you don't know until you ask and let us be the one to say no to you and figure it out you feel me so once she got past that and, you know, we just talked about, you know, you communicating. That is what parents are there for. If you have somebody that you know genuinely has your back and wants you to do the best in life and to be the very best, you know, it's called communication. And as y'all already know about her, Jazz, Jazz is not confrontational. So not confrontational when it comes to positive or negative now her disclaimer is she's like that with us i don't know y'all tell me i think my mama found out real early on about me being confrontational and to me i just always felt like i didn't always have to agree with her my mom 
but I was not afraid to speak or, you know, speak on something just as long as I did it with tact and respect. So, you know, we had that conversation with her. She was feeling better afterwards and stuff. And she told us, you know, she really appreciates us. And she know that we are her number one fans and we the number one people cheering her on. And we in her corner. So, I said all of that to say this, y'all. Sometimes you don't want to put it out there until the other person don't put it out there. Like I told y'all a couple of days ago when this all transpired, okay, um, I just was feeling taken for granted. And she clarified it and she was like, you know, she shouldn't have gave me a butt kiss and, you know, thinking that, I guess, I don't know what she was thinking. Yet, communication is key. And I think that is just, sometimes I know it can be a strength of mine and sometimes I know it can be a uh, opportunity because there is a thing called, there's a time and a place for everything. And younger me, younger me, younger me sometimes couldn't differentiate what was the perfect time and place for stuff. Over the years through maturity and growth, I have figured it out. So, I'm just trying to get her there. I know she's not going to be where I am. Yet, practice makes perfect. So, let me carry on. And I will see you guys once I get in the car. And I am on the way. Okay? Okay. in the car y'all see my beats tell you when you can't get your makeup off completely off your eyes use it as the base for a smoky eye because y'all me and cold eyeliner on my waterline and then mascara on the la lower lash lines child please it never fails and I do use that I think it's called well, some type of mineral water by L'Oreal I do use that and it does get it off really good but last night I was being a little lazy I was I'm gonna even lie the makeup was off my face it's just I did a poor 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 job of getting my eyes all the way clean so when all else fails go smoky with a nude lip and call it a day so my outfit today I didn't have time to get Jada to take a picture because I had to go I got a group text message from my job saying that anybody coming in like after this time frame uh, you might want to leave a little bit earlier or you might want to get dropped off because parking is off the chain but that goes to show you Jersey parents they they go school shopping at the last damn minute cuz school start on Tuesday y'all okay so I have on a choker and it's just a simple black choker by Charlotte Ruth and I paid six bucks for that but y'all know I ain't paying no six dollars right cuz y'all know I get a 40% off discount yes I have on a a tea that says mama didn't raise no fool that I bought from wet seal last summer and I probably paid about nine dollars for that I have on some high waist skinny distressed black denim and it is by H&M and I paid I think thirty nine dollars for these uh, yeah cuz they fit good they like make your booty look mm, like that okay um then I also have on some black leather chucks so that is my look today um, because I know more than likely I'm gonna be running around and doing a lot of bending or more than likely at the cash wrap as the cash cash supervisor oh uh, yeah I need to be able to meet I need to be able to bend without mooning folks that's another reason why I will high waist okay and then um 
just to be mobile. Five hours is gonna fly by, I pray. Cause as soon as I say that, watch it don't happen. But it should, because it's busy. And let's just go, let's get it, and come on home. Because when I get off, I need to run to Walmart and get some water, some bread. Y'all know them typical storm necessities. I don't know why the hell we need, why people buy eggs and milk, knowing that your refrigerator gonna be off, like really? if you lose power. So I'm just gonna go get sandwich meat, some bread, some chips, just some extra water, just in case we lose power. And yeah, when I get home, I'm gonna film a story time tonight, maybe two because while we don't have power, I'll make sure all my electronics is uh, charged up tonight so I could be editing videos and stuff and just have stuff ready to go i got a cooking with stuff and i got a makeup tutorial ready for y'all so be on the lookout and so let me focus because i gotta get down and i will chit chat back with y'all a little later okay 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 y'all i am off work now and guess what it happened again ran into another subscriber today and i was actually pulling clothes for the windows that I gotta do Monday night. And then I just turned and she was like, are you a Clacnista? And I was like, yes ma'am I am. And she was like, <laughs> I was like, she was like, you're a fly for real. Yes girl. And then I shook her hand, asked her what her name was. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Cause when you are on repetitive play, um, when you are the person ringing at the cash stand, <coughs> y'all, I started telling people, <coughs> Ooh. I start telling people that you get uh, attached to your coupon, it's going to be your receipt, and then the rest is history. So let me get in Walmart right quick and pick up those items. That I need to pick up, and then I'll talk to y'all when I get to the trying to run my errands before the storm get here and I'm still piecing together my Beyonce look so y'all it done changed again so y'all just gonna have to stay tuned and see what I come up with cuz check out Vicky's I gotta go to Nordstrom's I gotta get me some control top panties I mean um it's not panties oh that's cute Y'all, we walking past Victoria's Secrets. So, I'm gonna go sit down at the All Star Bagel. And we're gonna have some coffee and a bagel. And I'm gonna balance my checkbook. How about that? That's some real ish right there. Cause you can't do no damage if you don't know how much you got the damage with, okay? Okay. So, oh, look at baby. I ain't been in that store in decades. Well, no, about a decade. That red dress is fire. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check all my options today, y'all. Gotta check some of the stores that you don't usually go to, like BB, okay? So, be back. Get on my, I need my calculator.
y'all really do not know how excited I am about going to Beyonce's concert on Wednesday. <laughs> Might as well say I'm in concert too. You would think I ain't never been, but I done been to more than one, okay? I done been to several. It's just that, it's just an, it's, a, it's an experience. Job. Hold up, Jada. Now we're in Nordstrom. And I've been in Francesca's and we're talking about um, the Beyonce concert. And Jada was just like, Mommy, you just talk too dark on me. No, I want that. Um, I'm going to the Mac counter now. This eyeshadow that I wanted when y'all saw you at the Mac counter last week. They ain't have it, but you know they ain't have no customer service skills either. So let's pray they do better today. Okay, so far so good. What color? What is it? What is it? Uh, this one. That's the color. I think it's this one or that one. Look, Jada's being a good little helper today and she's holding all the bags. She's the bag lady. I'm patient because I want to go to the beauty supply store. Why always got to be a motive or why she doing something? I'm being patient. Being patient. I need you to hurry up and just get off the floor. She ain't going to happen like that. She don't get off until three. All right. Y'all all say how our eyes look when we come in the store. Put yellow in here. And this fall is approaching. And here... Nah, oh, I thought that was a beanie. All right, y'all, I need to focus when I come up in here. So we'll... Y'all, it's thick in here. Look at this, look. Crazy, right? Okay, I had to come on and tell y'all this. Jazz just had her first real clap back. <laughs> she had it back with clap back. Hold up, clap back junior. That go clap back junior. I'm right there. Nah, no, she is put that's junior. I'm you you were a work in progress. <laughs> but what she said to you, Jazz? Oh, she was talking about somebody's house. And then she just said, she said, why you had those shade? I was saying, why she throwing shade at her at their house when her room looked just like their house? How she was describing it. So then I ain't gonna say what I said. Jazz says no, Jada said you threw a bush. No, I said, she said shade. And I said, she said I'm gonna throw shade back to you later. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll throw a bush. <laughs> Gotta be ready. <laughs> it's a key word that she must. <laughs> hey, you. She, she. Why she look up so calmly? We got some movies. Hi, honey. I'm home. We got some movies. I think Daddy just said he ain't All right, y'all. We just got back home We're from shopping, and. I got lots of goodies. So while shopping today, I bought me one of these. And I think you should go down to Francesca's and get you one. It's nice. Yeah, but it's disguised. It looks like a lipstick. I might have a lipstick that big. I don't know. But you worry too much. You worry way too much. You don't have gray hair before you're supposed to have gray hair. I only got flash grind. Remember that. Okay. So, instead of you always worrying so much, I got you a prayer box. This is Pray More, Worry Less. 
write your prayers down and you stick them in the box and you give them to God and you leave it right there. It says, when your head starts to worry and your mind just can't rest, put your prayers down on paper and let God do the rest. So your own little personal prayer box, you put your own prayers in, you leave it, you put it in there and you leave it. Close it up. You give it to God. You really need to learn how to give it to God. And the rest will take care of itself. Biggest thing is everybody just needs to know you're trying. Which we know you're trying. You know you're doing the best. You're not just just parlaying around here like you like faking trying to go to school and faking trying to get yourself together. No, that's not the issue. But you need to stop worrying so much. Like for real. So y'all, this is the little box I got her. And it says, pray more, worry less. And it has a cute little message inside the box with a pen and a little pad for her to put her prayers on paper, close the box, and give it to God. So, I got me one too, but you know mine's had to match. So, mine says, prayer box and mine says the same thing as yours it has a little prayer box prayer tablet and stuff like that in it too so that's what i got from there i was thinking about you you just need to let shit go you need to be like a duck and let it roll off that's my motto i'm like a duck so i can do when a duck gets wet the water literally rolls off of him. He's never really wet. It's always dry. It's just his, feet, his wet feet get wet. That's it. From Matt, I got me that dazzle shadow that I wanted last week that I had to go behind the damn counter to go get. I got that. And the color is Last Dance. And I got me a Star Trek, uh, their limited edition lip glass in pleasure planet i went to ulta and i got me my wispies this week i got me some curvy lashes girl this lady gave me this talking about it. this is my birthday gift for um ulta i said i got my damn hair i guess this is gonna work out just fine if i find my beyonce wig on tuesday okay i got me three new lip pencils and they're all by NYX. I went to Charlotte Russe. I got some dark studs. And I got me some large cubic zirconia ones. That's like oversized. I bought me these cute pink um, fur slippers. This is kind of what I'm kind of trying to build my outfit for Beyonce around. Like I told y'all, I already changed it several times. So I ain't committed yet. Cause it's all depending on my wig. From New York and Company, I got this shirt. It's gonna be one of my chill outfits. I wear to New York when we go on this weekend with Ashley. So famous, cause y'all know I'm almost famous. Mm -hmm. I got these graffiti painted jeans. They're boyfriend jeans. I got these from New York and Company. Now, y'all, I don't care what nobody say. Victoria's Secrets, they pink collection for their panties. I like their pink collection better than I like they um, sexy, she's so sexy, whatever line. Um, just because they cotton, they comfortable, they, they cute. Then I came up with some really sexy prints. And I bought me two t-shirt bras. Yeah, I bought me two t-shirt bras. One in a uh, blush pink and another one in burgundy. And I got matching underwear. And I'm not going to sit here and show y'all my panties, okay? But as y'all can see, lots of those colors that you see. But just comfy. So hold that thought. And last but not least, y'all, today's special gift that I got 
actually came from Nordstrom. And so I'm going to unwrap it with y'all. And today's gift is an Alex and Annie bracelet bangle. And this one is completely blessed. And that's the message that it says on it. Faith, gratitude, and divinity. And what it stands for is this. All gifts in life come directly from above. Living in the present is the ultimate gift, full of promise and possibility. Allow yourself to be open to life's greatest moments without taking anything for granted. Seize your opportunities and realize that you are divinely and completely blessed every day in every moment. And as y'all already know, that is how Stephanie, aka Eclect Nista, lives her life to the fullest, no regrets. And why? Life is too short. And I don't think it's nothing cliche about that. Here today, gone tomorrow. At least I know I have left my life imprinted on others. And y'all, I'm like Beyonce. Today is Beyonce's birthday. Today is my. Y'all be saying I'm y'all friend in y'all head. Beyonce really is like a sister friend to me and mine. And it's just, I just feel like she lives her life to the fullest. People hate on her because people hate what they don't understand. And yet I feel like sometimes that's what me and her have in common. Sometimes people don't like what they don't understand. Or sometimes people don't like when people have their life together or is trying to live a life that God would be proud of. So on that note, I wish my girl be a bomb ass birthday. I do. I know she gonna tear it up for me on Wednesday cause y'all I'm at like that is my gift from her. She is performing on my birthday in my area where I live and I'm just not letting anybody on no type of level steal my joy, piss me off, nothing. This is just happiness all in itself. So, like this Alex and Annie said, I am completely blessed and I'm going to continue to live my life like that for the rest of my life. Alright? So, on that note, I will see you guys tomorrow. Same time same place and y'all better just get ready because Steph Timber is in progress okay she wears a crown where's her crown where's it probably she wears a crown where her crown where her crown probably yay see y'all tomorrow all right y'all this is my Sunday thirst trap for you bitches check out the bodies yeah oh look Rocky <laughs>